There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome to another random DOS game show. And uh, it's an Apogee game, and Apogee means entertainment. Cygnus Studios. And we have an opening cityscape with lots of flying. Look at that. There's some sort of pilot. And he's got... Oh, he's shooting like crazy. And there's an explosion. Raptor. Call of the Shadows. So, let's have a look at our options. Let's just turn down that music volume a little bit. High detail. Sound effects volume. Yep. Eh, let's turn that down just a little bit. Okay, so we'll just head new mission and see what this has in store for me. Change ID picture. Nah, I think I think our we could be a lady, we can be a guy. I think we're fine as we are. Lonnie, call sign Hawk. Uh, choose difficulty. Let's go with rookie. Uh, so we got a supply. Oh, this is like a wing commander style. Uh, I say Wing Commander, but there are other games who did who did it, like TIE Fighter and so on, but heaven forbid I talk about TIE Fighter, huh? There's a supply room. You can save your pilot. Uh, fly a mission. What's the supply room? Carol's Death Emporium. Welcome to the one and only automated one-stop shop. Oh. Uh, preview. Also, you, you can buy stuff. Cool. Uh, we'll not worry about that right now. Call sign Hawk will not buy a thing. We will exit and we'll get straight into it. Um, Bravo Tango outer regions or autopilot. Autopilot? Uh, no, we don't. We don't. Oh, hey. I just caught a, sn a snippet of what that is. Let's go Bravo sector. Right. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is a uh, vertical shooter. Ah, uh, so, we'll be here for 20 minutes. <laughs> yes! Oh, this is exciting. You know what? Is there... No, there's no in-game options. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll play through this one. And I think we'll... Uh, we'll turn up the volume of the music. I turned it down a bit too much, I think. Yes, let's get that cash. Get that moolah. Oof. And you can see it's very simple, very intuitive. You hold down control to shoot the living daylights out of anything and everything. Uh, your health is on the right hand side. You don't want to run out of that. You replenish it with pickups. And uh, it's not the easiest game, you know. It's not as simple as uh, other uh, top down shooters I played. It's, uh, it's quite difficult. But in a good way, you know, it's challenging. Maybe I should have gone on the easiest so I could just sit and chat while playing it, you know? And it's got all the prerequisite exploding, you know, stuff. Let's pick that up. Yes! Now things are going to die. We have missiles. Torpedoes away, boys! <laughs> uh, we're running a bit low on the old health, though. So... We need, we need a health pickup of some description. Not money. We need health. What are these? They look like mines. Uh, we don't want to... We don't want to hit them. Right. Uh, we'll just avoid you boys. Yeah, our health's really running low here. We need another pickup. Please, give me health. Systems low. Torpedoes out. Uh-oh. System shields really low, and we're down. <laughs> oh, look. You've got a cinematic of us <laughs> dying <laughs> horribly. Oh, dear. What a shame. Okay. And it's kicked us out to menu there. Good grief. Let's, let's turn that music up a bit. Um... Let, let's let's try a new mission. Wait, is it permadeath? 
Is it permadeath? Do we have to enter everything again? Yes, I think we do. Uh, let's go with training mode this time. And uh, let's buy some stuff from the Emporium and see if that helps matters. So, energy module. Replenishes normal, sh normal shields. This is the lifeblood of all pilots. This is right. You have 75. There we go. We bought that. Oh, we can buy and sell things back. Uh, you seem to have come to the limit of your... Oh, no. See what we've done there? We've sold it back instead of buying. And now we're in trouble. Search the surrounding area for energy emissions. And it'll lock on and a damage indicator for that ship will appear. Oh, that's a nifty upgrade. A mega bomb. The only dual purpose bomb in existence. Sweet. We got those air missiles that we picked up. 63,000. Well, we don't have money for any of this. Phase shields, plasma cannons. It's all very costly. Right. Okay. Well, we have the option to save the pilot there. We did not save last time. So we'll save and we'll fly. And uh, let's try Tango Sector. This is Tango Sector. And approaching Lonnie is shooting and hostile. We repeat, shooting and hostile. Okay, so you have to pick and choose your battles when you're uh, when your weapons are a bit low. You can't just destroy everything on the screen. You have to be tactical about it, you know. And you have to sort of avoid the fire. You know, you you can't just tank everything because your health I don't think regenerates. I might be wrong about that. I'm not paying that much attention to the uh, the right hand side. I'm just trying to stay alive currently. And it's more a case of, you know, getting yourself into a position where you stay alive. Either through superior firepower or through avoiding um, some of the enemies. Like that one, for instance. I was like, yep, yeah, he's too close. Can't do anything about him. we just got to duck and weave, you know. Oh, yeah, this, this, uh, this is level we shouldn't have taken on. Yeah, I can tell already. Well, not reach the end of it. Good music, by the way. Bit repetitive, but solid. And, oh, that tank is going to murder us. Let's just uh, try and avoid it. Uh, this is not looking good for Lonnie. Uh, system's damaged. We've lost our torpedoes. And we're being outnumbered and overwhelmed here. I mean, we're causing a lot of chaos and destruction. That's always a good sign. But, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Down we go again. Sorry, Lonnie. Doomed from the start. So... Maybe I'm missing something. But it seems exceedingly uh, difficult. Are you telling me I have to enter this each time? Let's, let's, uh, let's try training mode again. And this time, we're going to try and stay alive in the first mission. And we'll just... Uh... Okay, you've come to the limit of your cash, but we've got 100 now. And we'll just fly this mission in Bravo Sector. And we'll see what we can do. You see, our health is a lot higher now because we bought that. And uh, these seem to be a bit more forgiving. Now, I'm no stranger to top-down vertical shooters, but what I think this one has done is it's a westernized version of those sort of Japanese uh, bullet hell ones. You know, it's not for the uh, not for the faint of heart, not for the rookie, because even this early sort of uh, mission is requiring a lot of concentration on my part to stay alive. But you know what? It's it's a fun game, I have to say. I wouldn't I wouldn't rank it up quite on the same level as Tyrion, but I think I am gonna get an easy sort of 20 minutes out of it. Because A, it's in a genre I like, and B, it's uh, it's a fairly well-presented version of that. 
And there's probably some people in the comments saying, well, if this is your favorite genre, why, why have you not played Raptor before, James? You know? And the answer is, I just never got round to it. I was too busy playing Tyrion back then, you know? Right, we've got some missiles, we can cause a bit of damage, and hopefully get a bit further this time. I'll also check out the autopilot after this is done, you know, when I eventually die, which will happen. Gotta pick up some cash, so we can spend that at the store. And we shall deal with these exploding mine-type jobos. That's what they look like. I haven't let any get close enough. Destroy some more of the uh, surrounding environment. And just be a general nuisance to everyone and everything. Which, you know, in real life I'm quite good at anyway, so... This plays to my strengths. Like, James, can you ruin everything? It's my specialty! And you, you're probably wondering, James, why, why do you hold down the controller? while playing these, you know, and the answer is, un unless you have limited ammo, this is the best way to do it. It's an expectation of a top-down vertical shooter, in general. It's like, yep, you need to just keep firing and keep destroying things constantly. I'm enjoying this nice little solo on the <laughs> soundtrack. Do, 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 do. I'll stop singing along now. That could get very, very catchy. Again, this is another game. I'm just going to keep on the drive, I think. It's, uh, it's an obvious yes for me, I think. Whoa. This was the bit that I started panicking later, wasn't it? The enemies started coming thick and fast. And because we don't have, like, those fully upgraded weapons or anything, this is the bit where we have to start picking and choosing as to uh, who to deal with. Oh, that looks like a boss. Let's just avoid that. Uh-oh. Oh, no, that was that was easy. Hey, hey, you did it, Lonnie. Call sign Hawk. A successful mission. Well, you know what that means. Let's go to the supply room. Ah, so health is persistent. So look, we have 59 health there. So we need to top up. And then you've reached the maximum payload. The maximum payload's 100. So, like in Death Rally, where you had to repair your car after each race, Raptor also has that persistence, where you have to buy... Um, let's see... Larger craft, once detected, it'll lock on, and... The, right. So, that's that's so you can see the health. We've established that. And we can't afford anything else. Look at how far this goes up! 950,000 Death Ray! The MSIL Atlas is one of the most powerful weapons available. Emitting a particle stream at incredible speeds, its awesome firepower is usually enough to destroy most targets in one shot. So it's the equivalent of the BFG. <laughs> and then there, there's, there's an even higher one. The Caltan Eclipse is the most powerful weapon available. Its twin bim... Be, twin bims? Twin, twin beams of azure fire will incinerate anything in their path. The first and last thing every pilot needs. Do you think you could just give me a loan of that? No? Okay. Well, we could get an ion scanner. Or a... yeah. But I think we'll... we'll have what we hold. And, uh... I wonder... We wanted to test the autopilot, didn't we? There's a big red button there saying warning. Should I press it? Oh, it's just to go back. <laughs> the, the game must have realized, it must have been like, yep, yeah, there's a big red button with warning, somebody's gonna press it. Let's hit autopilot and see what happens. Uh, it just seems to be the same. I don't understand, but okay. Maybe it's an automatic selection thing, I, d I don't know. But it, it appears that we're playing the same level. I might be wrong. Maybe this is the next stage of the same thing. 
But we're doing okay so far. Yeah, I think this is the next stage. I don't remember those helicopter things. Uh, we'll bring that in here. Yep. I uh, didn't really need that health upgrade. Maybe this is the same. Maybe those helicopter things were the ones that I was just too busy trying to avoid. Oh well. I'm happy to play it again. If it is the same level. Do, 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 do. Oh, a ship. Goodbye. Yeah, this is definitely different. Unless my memory is just horribly faulty. Which, you know, I wouldn't put it past me. I've had horrendous issues with memory. At least the horrendous issues I remember. Yeah, we're looking good. Which can only mean one thing in my experience. Anytime I play a game and I'm like, yeah, this is going well, you know what happens. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> See, I, I was too greedy there. I went for the money and I got hit. And it's all about, you know, just getting your payload away and then swerving out of the way of their fire. So there, there, is, there is an element of uh, bullet hell style dodging that you need to... Uh, Pay attention to. You can't just, like I said, in Tyrion, which had regenerative shields. There's no regenerative shields here. You can't tank every shot. I know I'm repeating myself, but it's worth mentioning because that's the the gameplay thing, the gameplay loop that I am exhibiting and actually doing okay with because of my upgraded weapons, which is nice. Uh, I don't know what that added, but. Tell you what, I'm doing okay. And that's the important thing. Let's just avoid those. Yep. See you later. Oof. Taking a few hits here. Which I shouldn't. Because I've still got that boss to deal with later, you know? Yes. This is very satisfying. And... I can see how, on harder levels, this sort of thing, it really would appeal to hardcore fans of top-down shooters. Like, this is, you know, it, it it's a sort of game that lives and dies on its gameplay, and uh, the gameplay is good. Right, he's nearly done, so let's just take him out like nothing. Ha! Well done, Lonnie. You flew exactly the same mission as before. Uh, you can grind, that means. You can go back to previous missions and... You can... Uh, top up. So we got 75,000 now, which means we can afford a mega bomb. Hmm. As a sort of one... One off. I wonder, can we buy a second one of those? You have two. Oh, sweet. Let's see those in action. Um, let's save P Pilot Lonnie. And let's go to the Tango Sector again. And see if... Well, it doesn't look like that's changed anything. It looks like it was exactly the same as our pickup. So we may well have wasted money there, but because we've got these missiles now, they're, uh, they're causing us a bit more uh, destructive force on our end to deal with the opposition. I just need to stop tanking shots. I've got so used to the Tyrian way of playing, and sometimes I forget, you know. Yep. Again, I don't have enough strength to really sort of deal with those. What's this? Oh, we'll take that. It appears to be the exact same again. Uh, I don't know whether it's upgraded the strength of our missiles or whether it's uh, not a cumulative thing and it's just a case of, hey, you picked up the same weapons as last time. Congratulations kind of thing. Yep, we'll just avoid that. Thank you very much. See, I knew that was coming. I think if you keep playing these same missions, 
then you could you could actually sort of do it by muscle memory. That sort of grindy muscle memory thing. There's that tank. Oh, that's taking some hits. Right, we'll just avoid that then. No thank you, Mr. Tank. And already you can see we're, get, we're getting further, but like before, we don't have the strength to uh, A, resist the opposition, and B, to cause enough damage to really make a difference. We're getting along okay, but we're taking real hits now. And unless that is some sort of upgrade, we're in trouble. Oh, it is. That's merciful relief. Just for the meantime. But uh, that turret... Oh! Really causing problems. I'm not sure I'll reach the end of this, to be honest with you. Oh, respite. Sweet. Oh. Uh. See the concentration here? <laughs> he's not speaking to us! It either means he's run out of stuff to say or he's in severe trouble. He's in severe trouble. Oh. Must dodge all missiles. Oh. Shields are down. We're going down. Oh. Death. And we get to see poor old Lonnie's corpse buried underneath the rubble again. So, that's it. And I guess I could talk over the top of the sad remnants of Lonnie as he sits there, slowly fading away to the menu. That's Raptor Call of the Shadows. Um, who would I recommend it for? It's, it's pretty obvious. Cygnus Studios came out with uh, an excellent top-down shooter for fans of top-down shooters. I'm wondering about the persistence. Say if I hit load mission, you you can load. So that's good. That's there. Um, it's a classic. I mean, I can tell just from playing it. The feel of the gameplay is right. It's just a little bit that step down from Tyrion. The lack of story and it's not quite as smooth or as forgiving. I think there'd be a lot more grinding involved in Raptor than it there is in Tyrion. You know, but other than that, I mean, if you're a fan of that 90s top down or even side scrolling shooter, then Raptor is an obvious choice and heartily recommended. Easily breaks the time limit. Could play this for hours if I wanted. And if you like me talking about DOS games, I do it a lot. Feel free to check out the hundreds of other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see there, there is a subscribe button. Well, guess I'll load up Lonnie and start again. Until next time.